Samsung's Galaxy S26 series is already drawing serious attention, and a fresh leak has revealed two important details that could surprise many fans. According to a report from South Korea's Yonhap news agency, Samsung is planning to introduce the Galaxy S26 lineup in February 2026 instead of its usual January window. Even more interesting is the reported location of the launch event, which is expected to be held in San Francisco, California. If this information turns out to be accurate, it would mark a noticeable shift in Samsung's recent launch strategy. For the past several years, January has been Samsung's preferred month for unveiling its Galaxy S series. The Galaxy S25 lineup, for example, was announced on January 22, 2025 during an unpacked event in San Jose. Moving the launch to February may not sound like a major delay, but it could still influence buyer behavior, especially for users who plan early year upgrades. A later launch might also suggest that Samsung wants extra time to find, tune hardware, software, and the February 2026 unpacked event is expected to introduce the full Galaxy S26 family, including the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 XA, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. As always, one of the biggest questions surrounding the launch will be which processor powers each model and how Samsung plans to divide chipsets across regions. This topic has become even more important after what happened with the Galaxy S25 series. Last year, Samsung developed its own Exynos 2500 processor using its advanced 3 nanometer manufacturing process with gate, all around technology. On paper, the chip promised strong performance and improved efficiency. However, Samsung Foundry reportedly faced low production yields, meaning it could not manufacture enough reliable chips at scale. Because of this issue, Samsung chose not to use a mixed chipset strategy. Instead of offering Exynos chips in some regions and Qualcomm chips in others, Samsung decided to use the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor across the entire Galaxy S25 lineup. Reports suggest this decision cost Samsung roughly $400 million, but it ensured consistent performance worldwide and avoided potential complaints about regional differences. With the Galaxy S26 launch, many are watching closely to see if Samsung will attempt to bring Exynos back or continue relying fully on Qualcomm. By early 2026, Samsung Foundry may have improved its manufacturing yields, making it possible for Exynos processors to return in at least some Galaxy S26 models. Whether Samsung takes that risk again remains one of the most closely followed aspects of the upcoming launch. Early leaks have also shared detailed expectations for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. The phone is rumored to feature a large 6.9-inch dynamic AMOLED display with a sharp QHD if resolution of 1440 by 3120 pixels. The panel is expected to support a variable refresh rate from 1Hz to 120Hz, balancing smooth performance with better battery efficiency. One of the more interesting rumored features is an AI-based display technology called Flex Magic Pixel. This system is designed to control how light leaves the screen. When viewed straight on, the display remains bright and clear. From side angles, however, the content becomes harder to see helping protect privacy in public spaces without relying on software, only solutions. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to include 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB. A titanium frame is also rumored, continuing Samsung's premium design trend. Security is likely to be handled by an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor built into the display. Camera hardware could once again be a major highlight. The rear setup may include a 200 megapixel main sensor, a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 12 megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 50 megapixel periscope camera offering FFX optical zoom. On the front, a 12 megapixel selfie camera is expected. Battery details are still unclear. Some leaks point to a 5200 mAh battery, while others suggest Samsung may stick with a 5000 mAh cell yet again. Charging speed, however, is more likely to improve, with fast charging possibly increasing from 45 watts to 60 watts. This could allow the phone to reach around 80% charge in about 30 minutes. The device is expected to launch with Android 16 and receive seven major Android updates. The standard Galaxy S26 is also rumored to receive meaningful upgrades. The display size could grow slightly to 6.3 inches paired with a full HD fuzz resolution and a 1 hose to 120S refresh rate. RAM is expected to remain at 12GB with storage options ranging from 120GB to 512GB. Camera hardware may include a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 3 bex for battery capacity could increase to around 4300 mA. The Galaxy S6 Fuzz is expected to sit between the two models, featuring a 6.7-inch QHDF display, similar camera hardware to the standard model 20GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage. Battery capacity may remain around 4900 mA. Across the entire lineup, Samsung is expected to focus on better low-light photography, improved AI processing, and refined software. If the February launch rumor is correct, Samsung appears to be taking extra time to deliver a more polished Galaxy S26 series. 